Ja, und somit herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Invincible. Wir gehen zur Bridge. Um Reuter zu konfrontieren. Were you deliberately trying to slow me down? I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but... Never mind. Wenn ich ehrlich bin, hört sich Reuta auch ziemlich wach wieder an. Und ich vertraue mir irgendwie gerade gar nicht. Boah. ready to activate. Spherical thrower. Rehitra! Here. Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasta. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. Uh, all right. Have it your way. Okay, I'm ready. Fragen wir uns nicht, warum er plötzlich so einen langen Bart hat. What am I looking at? It'll be uh, number five, a long range one. It sees the entire perimeter. Better switch to a closer one. There's the Cyclops. Great. Force field activation. I confirm. Field active. The clouds within reach. I'm shooting. The close range is dead. No wonder. It's boiling over there. Oh. Was soll ich eigentlich jetzt genau machen? The field is shrinking. Calm down, Yasta. It will hold. Whoa. Oh, oh, beautiful. It's not a machine, it's the devil himself. I'm telling you. Um. Das sieht nicht gut aus. Shit, I'm losing connection. Do you see anything? They're creating a tight formation. A cyclone. Fucking shit! That can't be a good, right? Oh. What was that? You tell me. Can't you see anything? The mid range is dead. How about the long range? Uh, the long range works. The cloud has stopped attacking. The Cyclops is. Huh? What is it doing? What did you see? Yasna! The cloud won. What? You said... Don't count on the Cyclops anymore. Circus must have gone haywire. It shot down the probes. Now it's probably operating with a new goal. Like all those machines earlier. I, do, I don't understand. How? This is pure madness. Hey, at least we still have the Invincible. Don't mock me. I'm not mocking you, Rahitra. They really are flying here. They'll be here in about... Just hold on for a moment. I'll find out. Wenn die Funkstation mit Kontakt zu Novik zu aufzunehmen.
Oh. Nicht so schön. Die Funkstation... Äh... Alles gut bei dir? Astrogator, this is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... Failed? Worse. The Cyclops got out of control and knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Rehitra is planning now? I have no idea. But then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. You should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these... Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still haven't answered me, Litra. Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. I'm in what? Explosives? Cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rehitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rehitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. Sarachi ist eigentlich nie gut. Na Sarachi, handeln wir schnell mal. Mit falschen Entscheidungen. Das zweite stimmt eigentlich. Durch Sarachi werden wir kein Leben retten können. 
ob Brache oder nicht, die Wolke bedroht die Menschheit. Das stimmt natürlich auch. Und das erste stimmt eigentlich auch, weil auch unsere Leute sind betroffen. I understand, yes. Although it's hard to talk about revenge here. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization. Not vengeance. After all, nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis III. If they continue to evolve. Wait a minute, Doctor. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years, even. Considering the evolutionary timeline. However, they could threaten humanity much sooner, by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. It's not over yet. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. No, Novik. It's not a meteor, or an ocean, or a storm. They don't hunt, or degrade, or cripple you mentally. You and Hitler are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget for Hitler. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Maschinen sind uns gegenüber nicht bewusst feindselig. Sie sind unsere Feinde, auch wenn ihnen dies nicht bewusst ist. Du bist wirklich schwer vom Begriff Rohitra. Sentient or not, they are the enemies of all protein life. Our go, our enemies. Just like that. Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Before the machines came to Regis III, this planet was teeming with life. Before the cloud wiped out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang on. Creators? Yes. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel. These are no fables. We have gathered evidence for us. <sighs> How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't... argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms. Left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do. Whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves. Or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. Well, 
What is the guiding principle of a homeostat? To survive. Apparently the machines pose a threat to one another. They use the same source of energy to function. A common, finite resource. Okay, but why did some flies survive this? Not something bigger, better. The way I see it, they were better. The best. In Necro Evolution, the bots that used up the fewest resources won. So they miniaturized, or became sedentary. The former process gave rise to the cloud. The latter started this bizarre genre of, of metal structures resembling vegetation, which formed the city. And they're still growing? No. They lost the fight for survival, and now they're just rusting remnants. Only one form survived. The flying microbots that conquered all land areas on Regis 3. So these flies were just the best adapted? To the conditions of this planet? Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis 3. The local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them. So the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I would even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir, do you agree? Well... Ich stimme von ganz zu, nein, wir müssen so lange angreifen, bis wir siegen. Wir haben eine wenig und auch geringe Chance. Eigentlich bin ich ja auf der Seite von Novik. Und ich, also ich sehe eigentlich auch keine Chance, dass wir das gewinnen können. Ja, ich stimme von ganz zu. Es und mit einer Atombombe. Ich weiß nicht. Ich finde nicht gut, was Rohitra hier machen möchte. Ja, I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Rohitra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. Mm. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. <sighs> What else could we do if not attack? Von hier fliehen, warten auf den Unbesiegbaren. Ich wäre schon lang von hier geflohen eigentlich. Mich interessiert das mit dem Unbesiegbaren, aber andererseits. The Invincible is near. We can wait for its arrival. Huh, right. That is one solution. Although I was hoping you'd come back to Dragonfly. Back home. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. Rehitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable! You won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. It will only needlessly draw the crowd's attention. And I won't have you endanger my subordinates. Oh, good one. I wasn't the one who sent her. Rehitra? Rehitra, over. He won't answer you, sir. Not anymore. Oh. Did you neutralize him? I put him to sleep. It's cruel, I know. He will forget everything. All over again. No, yes, no, you did the right thing. He wasn't listening to reason. I'd have blown everything up. Most likely along with the both of you. You actually saved his life. Ich fliege hier weg und zwar jetzt. Ich weiß halt nicht, wie lange es geht, bis der Unbesiegbare hier sind. Hier ist, hier ist sind. 
I don't know, was ist das Richtige? Hm, was soll ich auswählen? It doesn't matter anymore. I want to leave as soon as possible, Astrogator. Leave the Alliance, the Flies, this planet. Leave it all behind. I'm already preparing the lander. One more thing. As far as I know, there's a landing pad on the bow of the Condor. You must open it somehow, so that I have a place to land for her. Give me a moment, sir. Maybe next time Rich will understand why I did what I did. Next time? You're not thinking of waking him up, are you? No. But I'll leave him my journal. I know it's highly irregular to present one's discoveries to another faction. Uh, relax, Jessica. I don't blame you. There are no factions on Regis Three. Only people. All equally defeated. Oh man, war das die richtige Entscheidung? Ich weiß nicht. I don't know, habe ich das richtige getan? Good luck. Um, I'm sorry. Done. I'm ready to look for the landing pack. <sighs> All right, I'll wait. Öffne die Kuppel überhaupt das Landeplatz. War das das Richtige? I don't know. <lacht> Fuck. Ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Habe ich das Richtige getan? Okay, got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Ich bin mit immer noch ziemlich. It's hard to believe I'm finally gonna leave this place. Unsicher, ob wir das richtige hier getan haben, was Roytran betrifft. Ich überlasse ihn jetzt einfach seinem Schicksal hier. Und hoffe, dass die Unbesiegbaren. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Und hoffe. Wow, already. It went smoothly. The landing pad is generous in proportion. <sighs> like everything here. Und hoffe, dass sie ihn finden werden, bevor es zu spät ist. Und Rohitra überlebt. I can see Hopper. I can't believe I'm finally coming back to you. I'm very happy to hear it, Yasna. Me too. It's just... It was such a long and difficult mission. Oh, that's bad. I'll just close the hatch and... And what? Das Glas mit dem Kling behalten und wegwerfen. Ich weiß nicht. Ist es schlau, das zu behalten und daran zu forschen? Oder einfach alles hier zurückzulassen? There's nothing. I'm gonna buckle up now. So viele schwierige Entscheidungen. Ready. Copy that. Hopper is taking off in three, two, one. Evakuierung.
das Ende. Game created by Star Wars Industries. Ich hätte jetzt ehrlich gesagt noch ein bisschen mehr erwartet. Am Ende. Und das irgendwie noch. Kommt, dass wir wieder auf unserem Schiff landen. Und unsere Leute retten würden. Game published by 11 Bit Studios. Und am Ende wurde es wirklich. Wirklich schwierig mit diesen Entscheidungen, die man hier treffen musste. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob wir das Richtige getan haben. Und schließlich hinterlassen wir den Planeten einfach so mit diesen Lebeformen, Lebewesen, dieser Wolke, dieser lebendigen Wolke. die alles und jeden auffrisst und tötet. Und wer weiß, ob sich das nicht weiterentwickelt und irgendwie durch den Weltall zu anderen Planeten drüber schwappt und uns alle zerstört. Was war's mit den Invincible? Echt ein cooles Spiel, wirklich. Grafikmäßig, wie gesagt, ich find's, ich find's schön, es sieht gut aus, aber es sieht ehrlich gesagt schlechter aus als die Demo. Das ist mir aufgefallen. Aber von der Aufmachung, vom Grafikstil, die Musik, die Dialoge, sehr schönes Spiel, wirklich. Hat mich überzeugt, fand ich mich sehr cool. Allerdings sind manche, ähm, ja, manche Gespräche, manche Informationen ein bisschen, waren für mich zumindest ein bisschen zu hoch. Also, ich habe nicht alles wirklich verstanden, was hier passiert ist. Aber das war wirklich cool. Ich kann es jedem empfehlen, dieses Spiel zu spielen. Und wenn ich das jetzt so gespielt habe, denke ich auch, dass der Roman von Lem ziemlich spannend sein könnte. Aber ja, das war's mit Invincible. Mal schauen. Man könnte wieder zurückspringen zur Übertragung mit Novik, um die anderen Enden anzuschauen. Vielleicht mache ich das noch in Bonusfolgen. Mal schauen. Aber damit würde ich sagen, das war's hiermit. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen bei der Invincible. Es war mir ein Vergnügen, mit euch diese Reise zu machen. Und vielleicht bis zum anderen Ende zu Bonusfolgen. Vielleicht auch zum Comicbuch hier, das wir noch anschauen werden. Und äh, ja. Vielen Dank und bis zum nächsten Mal bei einem anderen Let's Play von mir. Tschüss.